that's a bit about it. Okay, here's a real quick one. We're going to learn how to import assets from other programs. Like if you download uh, uh, a model from TurboSquid or Renderosity or wh wherever it is, uh, and it's in the form of an FBX or OBJ, uh, and it's not uh, a DAS file, then this is just an easy way of doing it. You download the file, obviously you unzip it, you get the model, um, which I have of uh, here. So I've got the fork FBX, this is one of mine. I'll put the link down below. You can use it to test this out or use it in your works, whatever, I don't care. Uh, and here's all the maps for it. So basically what I wanna do is go to file, import, and you'll either get an OBJ or FBX. In this case, it's an FBX and you can import. It'll give you options. If you do have animation, you can click this one, but we don't have animation. It's just a static asset and same thing with polygroups. Uh, if it does have polygroups, you can import that to bring in the polygroups with it. But for now, we're just going to take it like that. I'm going to say accept and there it is. Okay, so uh, relatively straightforward and simple. But now let's say it's an OBJ. Okay, let's say it's an OBJ and it's not coming in like it, it looks like it's in, but it's just completely see through. Uh, all that means is uh, it's not working properly. Open up Blender, say file, import your OBJ or whatever it is. In this case, okay, this is an FBX, but usually it would be an OBJ that gives you crap. Uh, and then you can, let me just go looking for it. Uh, where did I put uh, Where did I put it? Downloads, the assets, okay. So we're here, and then I'm just going to, all you'll do is import it. And you would take that exact same thing there, whatever, you'll select it, and you'll say file uh, export a, export a, as uh, an FBX or an OBJ, okay? You you would export it, and then it, it'll be fine. It'll work perfectly, okay? Sometimes, I don't know why that happens, but uh, if it does happen with you and you don't see it in the see-through or whatever, that's what you got to do. You're all good. You're all good, bruh. Then all you got to do is go uh, click on your Poseidon thingy, go into the surfaces, and open up. It, it'll have the material list for you. And then it's all good. It's all good. There's the base color. You can just drop it straight into base color. And you can start seeing what's happening. Uh, emissive, if you've got emissive, fine or good or whatever. And, and it's the same with all the other maps, okay? So we've got emissive, we've got height, we've got metal. If, if it's not there, don't worry about it. It's it's all good. Uh, it's, it's fine, you know. <laughs> you can convert maps, but I'm not going to get into that right now. Uh, there's the normal map. We can shove in the normal map. Uh, where is where was it? Where was it? There's a normal map. Uh, we've got the roughness, which I think was up here somewhere. Specular strength, glossiness. Right, glossiness is your roughness. Okay, there, boom. Um, and you get your uh, thingamabobby, which is pretty cool. So, uh, I mean, it's pretty straightforward. You can just. Uh, drag and drop, uh, import your, your thingamabobby and you should be good to go, okay? Everything else is pretty straightforward. I think the only thing is, uh, I suppose where's the, I don't even think it's got it in here, in this uh, material. Remember, you can swap out materials. You can give it a different material. If you go up to uh, files and all files, oh, oh, <laughs> you just go to materials. And then these are all the kind of materials you can get. And if you put uh, Uber or iRay, iRay maybe, is it iRay, iRay, uh, you should, uh, god damn, there's a lot here. Okay, just type in Uber, Uber. Uh, oh, come on, man, are you kidding me? Just, just give me that, oh no, okay, then this must be somewhere else. So let's uh, show in assets. Browse to file a cashoir. Oh, mensch, mensch. What about here? If I go to materials over here, uh, materials, metal. Uh, what are we looking for? Oh, shaders, shutters. I'm very sorry, shutters. If you go to shaders, then you get all your different kinds of shaders that you can apply to this thing. So if I wanted to apply this one, I can just click on that, click on this, this thing over here and just double click the Uber base and then it opens up the Uber base. So over here you've got a mission, which means then you can start putting in things like, like, like the emissive one over here, boom. And put this all the way up uh, to whatever color you want and you should start getting a mission. There we go. So you start getting kind of a Ahmed. 
you start getting emission on your on your thing emission temperature and you can start getting all the little glows and stuff luminance boom you can start bumping up your luminance and all that kind of stuff and then you'll start getting your glows and stuff okay so uh very straightforward all you got to do is just uh bump it up bump it up a lot um uh, import your thing in my bobby okay import your object and then you can just drag and drop the materials in the right place go to your surfaces drag and drop your your materials and I don't know why this isn't working. Why isn't this working? Anyone? Anyone? Can anyone give me a clear answer? Why this ain't working? Okay? I mean, I got my day in my mission. We got them day in my mission. Uh, why ain't that, uh, why ain't that working? Uh, oh, because there is no mission. <laughs> All right, if I put in a different map, there we go. Okay, so it is working, uh, but my emissive map has got nothing on it. Right, people, so I hope that helps. Even if it's an FBX with joints, if you've got a character from another place, you can import that entire FBX, and it's fine. You can still rotate the joints and do whatever you want with it in the parameter section. You can still do all of the joints, click a joint, rotate, all this kind of stuff. Uh, it's not going to have the IK or anything, but, uh, you know, you could set all of that up, but that's a whole new ball game, people. That's a whole new ball game, people. Right, I hope this helps, and uh, thanks for watching, and I'll speak to you later. Bye, guys.